Hello, my name is Sarah, and I run a specialized energy work website called Black Tree Blue Raven, and I also offer spells. This video is going to be about packed writing. I have done quite a few of these myself, and I know the way I do it. I'm sure people are going to be like, oh, that's not how you do it. Well, this is how I do it. <laughs> it's worked pretty well, so. Um... I would love like any feedback in the comments about anything that I forget that would be cool but um, the basics of pact writing first spirits and demons angels whoever are not genies you're most likely not going to get instant gratification and packs do not have to be complicated in fact, you should make them as simple as possible. Do not make expectations of yourself that you cannot follow through with. Do not say, I will evoke you and offer you offerings every day before lunch for the rest of my life. Like, that's completely unrealistic. That's not... <sighs> it's not going to happen. Things happen. Things change in your life. Especially when you do packs, you might not be available every time before lunch to do an evocation and offer offerings. So once a week would be good. That's better. That leaves you plenty of time and leeway if something does go wrong. That way you're not breaking your end of the deal. And I wrote do not expect instant gratification. I already said that. When you do a pact, Expect there to be a certain amount of chaos and turmoil in your life because in order for things to shift and for you to get what you want, things need to change and it's not going to be pleasant all the time. In fact, it's, it might be quite terrible, but the end goal is still the same. So as long as you go into this knowing that and willing to do the work and the life work and allow things to kind of fall into place around you after they fall apart, then you're going to be okay. Expect that sacrifices are going to have to be made. I don't care what your pact is for. There's going to be some kind of sacrifice in your life. Something that you're going to have to give up that you don't want to give up. And don't go crying to the spirit about it. They don't really care about your feelings, so don't expect them to care about your feelings because they have a job to do. They're going to do the job and that's the end of it. I mean, to a certain degree, they will listen to you. They're not going to send you away. Um, they're not going to just disappear. I mean, at least not the ones I've worked with. Like they, when I say they don't care about your feelings, it's not necessarily, it's, it's hard to explain. Like. They have a job to do and they're going to do it and but they realize that you're an infinite being as well and then you're and they see the future and that you're going to get through it so they will offer you support through you know talking or whatever you need to do but um yeah they do what they have to do for any pack that you're writing make sure there's an ending or lack of an ending so that there's no confusion around when this pack ends mm -hmm. Um, it's very important to write that in there. If you want it to last six months, write six months. If you want it to last a year, write a year. If you want it to last two years, you get the point. If you want it to never end, then write that. You really want to be specific on the time frame. And when I do packs for people, I always recommend adding a safety feature in there, you know, in case the spirit is, doesn't have your best interest in mind, which does happen. You can't always trust every one of them. So, uh, for example, I reserve the right to refuse any given task or direction if I feel it does not serve my highest good and you will offer me options. That leaves, that leaves it open for you to basically refuse anything that you don't think is going to benefit you in the end. And of course, there's agreement part, what you will do, what the spirit will do. When it comes to what you will do, you don't have to write only what you're going to do for the spirit. In fact, it's better to write also what you're going to do 
to work towards your goals. Like if your goal is to make more money, then you're going to work towards that goal every day. If you're, and you know, start a business or whatever, like and start small, so you can write something like that. Or if your goal is to get fit and lose weight or gain more muscle, then you can write, I will exercise every day. And you know, it, it holds you accountable too. And it does help you, uh, it, it does help motivate you and keep you in line when you write stuff like that. And also, you know, what you will do for the spirit, like you will, like I talked about earlier, you will do an evocation every week, you will give offerings, you know, things like that. It's great to, if you can't channel, it's great for somebody else to channel exactly what they want. But I mean, you know, every spirit likes offerings and you, and you know that they, you know, they want attention and they want, um, want you to listen to them. So really just keep it as simple as that. If you, if you have to, it'll work. And write, you know, what the expectation of the spirit is. What's the objective goal? What's the goal? It can be specific or it can be vague. I would recommend being specific because you don't really want the spirit running rampant on your life and bringing you something you don't want. Like, um, I want to be rich, but you're stuck in an office building all day, piling papers or, you know, something you don't want to do. So you be as specific as possible and know exactly what you want before you do this. And they're going to make sure that they help you work for your goal. So you want to write that in there, that they will assist you in achieving your goal. And of course, have them sign it if they agree. You can do an evocation and um, just kind of pretend they're standing right in front of you or sitting right in front of you, hand it to them ask them to sign it and then you sign it yourself and just assume that it's valid if you can't see or hear the spirit just assume that it worked because it did so yeah if I'm forgetting anything guys uh, write it in the comments I have a feeling I'm forgetting something but oh well <laughs> well thank you for watching and yeah check out my website and my patreon where I do money spells and healing spells every month and that's on eye of the watchers and i'll put the link in the description box thank you guys bye